talking about 2.2 in the last video we've seen about cost and now we're going to see about profit okay first I'll give you some formulas here first what would be the formula for profit we represent profit by this symbol pi so profit equals to total revenue minus total cost you already know that right that yes it's obvious that profit is total revenue minus total cost okay we'll have an example okay <coughs> we can see it first using this graph first this graph will be for the total revenue think that we we have drawn this type of graphs before and you're familiar with this so this non-linear graph this parabola inverted parabola is for the total revenue and this linear this linear the blue one is for the total what for the total cost so what would be the profit the profit will be this part that means total revenue minus the total cost so this part is the profit part and this is our maximum profit when it is on the maximum point and you already also know how to find this maximum profit so this will be the idea of course this will be always the Q but this axis will depend on okay in case we're talking about total revenue it will be a TR and in case we are talking about total cost it will be total cost so here we draw both graphs on the same uh, on the same graph so both curves are drawn here which is for total cost and total revenue so this will be total revenue as I told you and this is our total cost but always this axis is going to be for quantity here so let's have an example <coughs> if fixed costs are 4 and variable costs are 1 per unit and the demand function is what? p equals to 10 minus 2q ok first obtain the expression for pi in terms of q for profit in terms of what? q ok first let me do this profit equals to TR minus TC total revenue minus total cost so what's the total revenue first here total revenue equals to P times Q right so first I will, I'll work on total revenue which is P times Q I'm sorry P times Q and you know what is P P is here 10 minus 2 Q so it will be 10 times opening the brackets here it will be 10 Q minus 2 Q squared so this is our total revenue now let's talk about total cost you know that total cost equals to fixed cost plus variable cost multiplied by the quantity so total cost equals to what's our fixed cost here fixed costs are 4 plus the variable cost is 1 so it will be 1 times Q will just give you Q so now I can go back to the total revenue I mean I can go back to the profit and say it is TR minus TC which means TR TR 10 Q minus 2 Q squared minus TC what is TC 4 plus 1 Q that's just Q don't forget that this minus must be multiplied for everything inside this bracket most of the students are just putting minus 4 and this Q uh, sign is not changed but take care of that point so here it will be 10 Q minus 2 Q squared minus 4 minus Q so I'll collect the like terms here the profit will be starting with this one minus 2 Q squared 10 minus 1 will give you 9 Q minus 4 so I've done the first part here which is saying obtain the expression of pi in terms of what Q so now it's pi in terms of Q okay once I'll revise for you what I did here pi is as you know profit is total revenue minus total cost first I have to find total revenue formula for total revenue is price times quantity I multiplied the price that's given here in the question multiplied by quantity I opened the brackets and found this as TR next I would find TC 
What is total cost? Total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost multiplied by quantity. Variable cost is here given us 4 and fixed cost is here given us 1. So it will be 4 times 1Q and 1Q is just a Q. So then I go back to our uh, main formula for the profit which will be two, uh, TR minus TC. I plug in what is TR and what is TC here, what I found here and I open the brackets, I simplified, I got that profit equals to negative 2q squared plus 9q minus 4. Next, here we want us to sketch the graph of pi against q. For what values of q does the firm break even? What's the maximum profit? First let's discuss what is the firm break even? What's the firm break even? firm break even is when total revenue is zero that means you don't have any profit okay so I'll go to to sketch first let, let's take our formula okay okay so to solve this one you have to use what if you remember we have to use the uh, algebraic formula this will be our a here you have a b and this one will be the c so the formula is saying as you remember x equals to minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4 ac over 2a so minus b which is minus 9 plus or minus root of b squared minus 4 times a times c over 2a I'm just plugging in once I'm saying abc I'm talking about these numbers okay I'll simplify it now 9 squared is 81 and here minus and minus will be cancelled out and you'll be left to the minus um, it will be 4 times uh, 2 is 8 8 times 4 will give you 32 over negative 4 so let's check what's the root of this one 49 that will be root of 49 is 7 plus or minus 7 over negative 4 so now we'll have two options the first one will be with the plus and the second one will be with the minus so here I just do these two cases. Minus 9 plus 7 will be minus 2. Minus 2 divided by minus 4 will be positive 0 0.5. And minus 9, here we have minus. Minus 9 minus 7 will give you minus 16 divided by minus 4 will be positive 4. So these two are the values for Q. Either Q is 0 0.5 or Q is 4. So I'll take both solutions because they are both positive numbers so now I can start sketching can go back to the question and check it's asking me to sketch uh, Q and profit only so we said that Q will be 0 on 0 0.5 and 4 if we said that they would be here I need to know what is the maximum point to sketch the graph. So to know the maximum point, if you remember, we will take these two solutions, add them and divide them by 2. 0 0.5 plus 4 divided by 2, it will give you 2.25. So this point will be 2.25. And to know how much I'm going to go up, take this one and plug it in the original equation, which is minus 2q squared plus 9q minus 4 um, use your calculator and you'll find 6.125 you can use your calculator here just plugging in instead of this q 2.25 and uh, you'll find 6.125 let's consider that the number is here 6.125 so now I'll start sketching my graph. So 
this will be our graph of profit against quantity and here it's drawn in a better way of course here it's showing you that the graph will touch the y-axis or the pi or negative 4 because the formula or because the function is minus 2q squared plus 9q minus 4 don't forget this minus 4 what are the break even points as I told you it's when pi when our profit is 0 we'll say that we are in a break even points which are 0 0.5 and 4 as I told you the maximum point is 6.125 and that's the graph so I'll give you a question that I want you oh, wait a minute that I want you to try by yourself it's, I don't know it, what is the question um, sorry for that okay I'll send you another video to give you a question for practicing this type of exercises <laughs> Don't tell me that. 